In this video, we're going to practice timing. Remember the four steps for timing. First, you want to give a warning like ready, set, go. You always want to take several trials and then take an average. You also want to round your uh, average. We're going to round to uh, one tenth of a second, like 19.3 seconds. You also want to have your team members check your work. Let's try one together. You're going to need either a stopwatch or you can just use an online stopwatch. I will say, ready, set, go. When I say go, you start your stopwatch. I will then say, three, two, one, stop, and you will stop your stopwatch. And hopefully, we get around the same time. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, stop. I got 10.09 seconds. Hopefully you were close to that. A small leeway is always acceptable when taking a measurement, but you need to be as accurate as possible. Let's try a second one. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, stop. I got 4.66 seconds. Hopefully you were close to that one too. This third measurement, you're going to try all on your own. Get ready, reset that stopwatch. Ready, set, go. 3, 2, 1, stop. What did you get? Now let's try measuring something and getting some data. We're going to measure a block sliding down a ramp and see how much long it takes to reach the bottom. Remember, we can't just do this once. We have to do multiple trials and take an average. We then round our average to a tenth of a second. Here you can see that the block is positioned at the top of the ramp. I'm going to say ready, set, go and release the block. You're going to time the block as it slides down the ramp and reaches the bottom. Ready, set, go. What time did you get? Write that down somewhere because you're going to do th two more trials and then find the average. Here's trial number two. Ready, set, go. Be sure to write that second number down. Here's our final trial. Ready, set, go. Now that you've completed all three trials, it's time to average the results. Don't forget to round to a tenth of a second. 